Yeah. It's post back again and uh, actually I'm short one package but uh, I can't wait anymore because my main problem here is uh, I'm not able to <laughs> uh, to trace back or in most cases to trace back from uh, the sender's address especially when it comes to the uh, to the Chinese ones uh, to the seller on Amazon so I don't know which yeah which order is uh, still out and uh, maybe got lost so um, yeah I have to open it and uh, yeah let's get that out of the way and just start with it. Can I open that without cutting something? An interesting sticker here. Um, yeah, okay. That's not working. It's just sticking. Let in focus. Yeah. So, ah, digital panel meters. Okay, uh, let's get closer. Ah, uh, yeah. Digital panel meters, yeah. <clears throat> And uh, you will see that is the yeah common theme of things today. At least if these are the packages that I was expecting. So yeah, I have order two. These are, and it states that clearly. Uh, Panel meters, let's get a little bit closer. Uh, 200 millivolts, DC6, power DC6 to 15.5. So yeah, quite universal range, zero to 199.9 millivolts. Yeah, and they are uh, have a decent size. Yeah, they are not the only small units and uh, yeah they don't come with a cable do they oh yeah they come with a cable that's nice and they come ha ha that's the first one they come actually with some information. Wow. I'm flabbergasted. So yeah, um, polarity reverse protected. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, the measured voltage or the input voltage, high precision, blah, 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 bright red LED display. I was under the impression that these were LCD, but uh, I take an LED, we'll see. Um, yeah, ABS housing, power 6 to 15.5 volt, current less than 15 milliamps. Set in focus, that's better. Uh, zero automatic, uh, 0.56 inch. 2.5 uh, samples per second uh, polarity display so it can measure negative voltages 0 to 50 degrees celsius uh, blah 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 over range indication one or minus one 
panel cutout size or dimensions uh, 97 by 43 by 25 and these are available this is the model let's see why won't you focus thank you gddd ba 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 ah, yeah, yeah. you couldn't read it for yourself okay and i especially wanted uh yeah uh, a few 200 millivolts uh panel meters in the drawer for uh projects uh where I just need an instrument and uh, can freely customize the actual range of the instrument with either a current shunt or a serious resistor for voltage me measurements. Uh, yeah. Rectifying. Okay, connect the standard DC voltage signal to green line and blue line. Then adjust the VR1 until the display value is the same as the DC voltage. Rectifying method. Uh, that's a uh, yeah, calibrating method. Okay. Um, the meters factory settings is internal common ground. That would suggest... that you can change that. Hmm. Okay, um, let me get in closer to the board. Yeah, that's as close as it gets. Fix the tripod again. Zoom in maybe a little. So, uh, oh, there's an adjustment port that's a multi-tone trimmer. That's very nice. There's a DC plus ground in minus and V DC plus ground in minus V plus and A plus, which is not populated. So I guess, huh, yeah, there are other models available that uh, measure current. But uh, what I'm searching for, oh, decimal point, three, two, one. Uh, these are, Yeah, these are, can you see that? Zooming in a little more. These are just a zero ohm resistor as a bridge to set the decimal points. So uh, yeah, you can customize that. There's obviously, I guess that would be for current measurement, uh, some additional circuitry that is not populated and uh, yeah. yeah looks nice enough or oh, voltage regulator i don't know why they need the big resistor but uh lots of diodes i guess that's um yeah over voltage protection on the measurement input all in all very nice but um i'm wondering if you really Factory setting is common ground, but I don't really, I mean, this, this is uh, our power supply ground and this is our measurement ground. I can't really see how you would get them apart. So uh, I don't see any bridge or something, another zero ohm resistor. Um, that you simply can take out. Anyway, um, let's fire that thing up and uh, see how it looks like. Huh? Sorry, before that I can't resist. I'm uh, just 
taking the board out for good measure and have a look see at the back side where the connector is if uh, there's really an option to make the measurement input not common ground with the supply voltage because that would be absolutely fantastic but I don't believe that that's really possible. Or actually it might. So yeah, it, it, it is LED. Uh, I thought I ordered LCD, but it is uh, LED and um, You see this is our power ground here and this is our measurement ground and at some point and uh, yeah that suggests yeah two different traces that actually suggests that it should be somehow possible to modify that so we don't have to use common ground but uh, mm, yeah anyway let's put it together and uh, the right way around you can't you can't put it in the wrong way wrong way around that's uh sorry <clears throat> that's a good thing <laughs> at least for me sorry zooming out again uh Back in focus. Yeah, with these self cutting screws into plastic, I'm always trying uh, yeah, to find exactly the same threads again so I don't cut another thread uh, because if you do that two or three times basically you end up with no thread at all okay um yeah fire that thing up uh, i guess i have to put the connector in and we need some power supply So a 9 volt battery should be uh, absolutely sufficient and uh, yeah, just for isolation purposes uh, if you have these crocodile clamps here um, you can easily, just a tip in between, uh, yeah, shove some uh, screwdriver down their throat and then you can very easily uh, slip the isolation sleeve a little bit forward so you don't create any shorts so yeah and that's the black one and it should light up let's see oh yeah and it's upside down oh doesn't matter. Okay, uh, touching the board displays the voltage. I guess uh, <laughs> touching the inputs will also create a voltage, especially if I do it uh, over my whole body. Uh, yeah, mm. it's not too bright. 
okay, but uh, there's no adjustment for uh, display brightness. Um, let's see how accurate that thing really is. I mean, this is a 2000 count, uh, so three and a half digits. Um, yeah, give me a second. Maybe we disconnect the power, power for the time being. So uh, just that you see what I've done. Uh, <laughs> uh, took a power supply and a uh, resistor divider and uh, yeah, adjusted the output to... Let's adjust it to 199.9, okay, something like that, yeah, 199.9, 199.8. And it's actually displaying 199.3, but uh, yeah, if I had thought to bring a 10 turn, uh, a suitable screwdriver, we could adjust that now. <clears throat> Just a second. Okay. I have the screwdriver um, and now we try to adjust that and this is on the back so this is uh, a little bit awkward here. To 194.5, okay, 6, 6, 9, okay, over range. Yeah, this is not easy <laughs> from a ergonomics point of view. Yeah, so maybe a tenth of a turn is a tenth of a volt. So it says 199.9 and my trusty Bryman is saying 199.9, so this is nice, but uh, let's actually, can I get everything into a shot? Yes, I can. Uh, let's turn that down to 100 millivolts, if this is really linear. Okay, the Bryman says 100 and we say 100.1. I mean, this, yeah, this is absolutely okay. Plus minus one digit always with digital instruments and uh, yeah, let's try 50 millivolts. Uh, yeah, near yeah, enough, perfect. Uh, the only qualm I have with it, and maybe you you can see it. It's it's not too bright. It's not too bright, but um. Everything else, maybe I can place it down without blowing anything up or disrupting something. Oh, let's put it in the back. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. And these were, wait, I'll show you the, if I find it, the Amazon listing. You want to order it for yourself. If I can find it. Yeah, yeah. There it is. 
sorry. Oh, shaken. So that was on Amazon V. Okay, uh, in German, three and a half digital rote LED DC 200 millivolts sold by Merz Gerste. And uh, yeah, these things are okay. These things are absolutely okay. I'm happy with that. Okay, moving on to the next item. Yeah, I left the uh, test equipment lying around because uh, I, if I'm right, we will have, oh, I have to exchange this blade at some point. Uh, we will have much more panel meters. Okay. Um, wow. This is... Uh, no, it's not quite the same box size than uh, the meters before. It's a little bit flat, more flat and... Uh, this is, yeah, from Xsource. Does it say anything on the back? Yeah, this is uh, actually an. Uh, oh, let me get that in focus. An AC meter, 20 to 500 volts. I have also 60 to 300 volts, but this is a 20 to 500 volts, which is okay for my purposes. So this is obviously for measuring mains AC voltage and uh, yeah, nice connector uh, calibration. Let's focus, uh, get a little bit closer. Uh, also provides calibration and uh, yeah, AC in 22500. And uh, yeah, let's start that puppy up. So uh, the test leads going uh, here go directly to mains AC and uh, the Bryman is saying uh, we are at 236 and the instrument is saying 235 and uh, yeah how close can I get um, you see it on, on the camera it's more extreme than uh, actually uh, when looking at it, but uh, obviously the LCD is uh, only uh, lighted by a single LED, which uh, on camera looks uh, yeah really really big, but uh, it's it's not really that bad uh, when you look with norm uh, your eyes on it. Um, yeah, but there's also, uh, okay, so that's mains, and this is supposed to be isolated. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't trust them. So I won't try not to, sorry. Is that in focus? I will try. Now I'm in, let's see, can we calibrate? Yeah, we can calibrate 236, it should be. Yeah, it's not a multi-tone, so it's a little bit 237. 236. Yeah, it, it, really, it really doesn't work too well with uh, for some reason with the camera. I have I have no problems. I have really no problems. Ah, that's better. Uh, reading that uh, with my eyes. I mean, it's not the best LCD display ever, 
uh, I mean, compared, uh, for example, uh, uh, to the multimeter, which has a really nice contrast and nice viewing angle, it's not the best ever, but uh, it was only a few bucks, and uh, yeah, it's working perfectly for monitoring your actual um, AC voltage, mains voltage. Okay, and uh, of course I should have a listing, listing for that. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that one is in English, so, uh, but I ordered it from Germany, so uh, you should be able to, uh, to get that anytime you want. Uh, so the seller was, doesn't say the seller, but the seller was X source. It's AC 220 volts, 380 volts, AC 20 digital, blah, blah, blah. Voltage, voltmeter, uh, yeah, fake light. And it, it's no longer available and currently unavailable. But it was only a few bucks. But uh, yeah, if you see something that uh, looks like from the back like that and uh, yeah, LCD from the front, uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a stunner, but uh, it's okay. And um, as I said, was five bucks or so. Yeah, the last one said it's prepaid in Germany, but it got a uh, German custom sticker on it. Not the last one, the last before the last. <laughs> and uh, it uh, obviously got some uh, Chinese custom declaration. So yeah, China wear. Oh yeah. That's a big one. So this is also an AC panel meter, uh, model 21. Okay. <laughs> And this one comes again with documentation, which is, you know, a little bit unusual <laughs> for Chinese stuff. And is that actually a button here? I mean, can you see that? Yeah, that's a button. And there is a protective cover on here and oh, oh. No, I just thought uh, the other LCD meter, maybe there was still a protective cover on it but uh, there's no protective cover on it Not that I could concern any, but I uh, haven't saw that some... Uh, yeah, we have to zoom in on that one. Yeah, some schmoo, actually. Huh. Yeah, okay. Uh, you don't only see that in close-up. Okay, uh, back to the item at hand. Um, this one should not only, yeah, the back side says it all. This should measure your voltage and your load. 
and I choose that one. It's for 0 to 20 amps. I never will use it on 20 amps here in Europe. Uh, your normal outlet uh, is fused with 16 amps max and uh, yeah I think I will use it in the order of magnitude of uh, yeah, maybe 5 amps. Uh, I choose that one because it doesn't have uh, you know an external measurement coil. It's nice and easy to wire up and uh, that's what we shall do in a second. after we read the most important documentation. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so uh, dimensions, wiring diagram, uh, rated power 4500 watts, I mean 20 amperes of current, uh, blah, 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 blah. And the same in Chinese and some uh, yeah power test range energy test range so it measures uh, kilowatt hours so that's what the uh, I guess the reset switch is for water test range 80 to 260 that's also okay current test range 0 to 20 backlight control oh, oh gosh okay we have to read that it has functions. That's always bad. You just get a meter and then it has functions. Short press the key to turn on or off the backlight. The backlight has memory function. Okay. Reset energy. Long press the key for five seconds. Okay. Then release. Uh, then it will start flashing. Step two, short press the key again and then the energy value is cleared and exit the reset flashing state. If you don't want to clear, press again for five seconds. Set power alarm threshold. Oh, too much stuff. I, uh, I don't need that. I just want something to display voltage, amperage and power. Full stop. Okay, uh, but obviously it does it all. So basically the same test setup. I won't go through the motions and measure, uh, you know, the uh, <coughs> uh, power. Uh, just connected mains AC here. And uh, yeah, 236.7, 236. Yeah, that's perfectly plus minus one digit. That's perfect. And uh, this one has no adjustment capability. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. And uh, I, um, yeah, I bought that one and the other mains AC one already put it away <clears throat> maybe a little bit premature mature i wanted uh, to use these in conjunction with uh, a transformer i salvaged or maybe two transformers i salvaged from uh, an interruptible power supply uh, yeah card here and uh, that transformer has the ability to step up, step down, AC, mains AC, plus minus 10% or so. And I have two of them, so I can step up, step down, mains AC, plus minus 20% or so. Uh, so I measured the input voltage. I have these two transformers with lots of uh, big relays. Uh, switching between the different windings and uh, yeah I see what the output voltage is and the connected load and connected amperage. Um, yeah uh, project for the future but now I have the instruments and uh, yeah I can start thinking about putting that all together. And before I forget it uh, 
that was the listing, uh, <laughs> sorry, also currently unavailable, but that's the Turgo 20 amp AC AC power meter panel. And uh, I have to say it has a much nicer LCD display than uh, that one. But uh, these are about 10 bucks a piece, so yeah. But that's okay. So yeah, something like that on the front panel. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, next item, next and last, now really the last item. So the biggest box, can you hear that? Probably. Um, yeah, this is one of these boxes you cannot really reuse, so... Mm. Let's cut it open. And hey! So uh, it's uh, yeah, 360 pieces of nylon distance holders and screw parts ranging from, and that was an important thing for me, is that taped shut somewhere? Yeah, it is. Uh, the important thing for me for buying that set was that it contains M4 screws. And I'll show you why in a minute. So you have everything from, can you read that? Yes, M4, M3 and M2. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever use M2. Uh, usually uh, when you put boards in, you use here in Europe, uh, or in, the metric vault M3, but sometimes, sometimes you need M4. And what are these thingies? A little bit bigger than, uh, yeah, the M3s. And uh, wow, well, these two boxes. Okay, so here we have. Obviously, distance holders, screws, and in the other box there are, we'll see in a second, this is also some tape. Or oh. Tesa, how we like to call it in Germany, like you in the US they say Scotch tape because Scotch is the major brand uh, of uh, this kind of transparent tapes. And uh, here in Germany, the uh, major brand for these transparent tapes is Tesa. So um, we don't say scotch tape, we simply say TESA. And uh, if you say TESA, you know, everybody knows what you mean. Ah, okay, and here we have uh, 
yeah, an assortment of long 20 millimeter to uh, over 50 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and then uh, yeah, just normal nylon nuts. And uh, yeah, I show you what uh, show you in a second what that was intended for. Before that, maybe we have a look at the Amazon listing. Okay, and these were the Ragudix 360 pieces and two and three and four male female nylon hex spacers. And uh, yeah, no price. At, oh, yeah, yeah, price. Uh, 16.99 in euros, so about uh, 70 bucks. Um, free shipping, of course. And uh, that seems a little bit much, but uh, if you go hunting down for the M4 stuff, uh, you got a problem, a price problem also. So getting a set uh, that contains all that M4 stuff, um, yeah, it's worth uh, the price. Okay, so now what I, what do I need that for? Oh, well, the boxes are also quite neat. Okay. I need these to mount my new auxiliary power board that I built. Uh, link here, uh, card and link down there. Uh, on top of my transformer and um, let's see if that is working out without any manual work. And I'm Starting with 15 millimeters M4. Okay, that's M3. Do I have? No, I don't have black M4s. Okay. Just putting it in. Okay, something like that, and uh, yeah, obviously the, oh, I don't know, I have to test it, but this should basically fit in here if I was not totally wrong on my measurements. Uh, Yeah, this will definitely fit in. Um, might even fit in on these 15 millimeter ones. Yeah, I have to fiddle a bit around with it. Well, <clears throat> it is indeed a tight fit, but uh, yeah, I uh, can see that. Um, uh, just seeing if anything is touching, but no, and uh, there's enough clearance here uh, between, these are ground a uh, few millimeters between the top of the case, and uh, yeah, the transformers are isolated anyway. And the best thing is now I can hook everything up again, and yeah, I think you can see that ah, my instruments are working again. Yeah. So now, finally, 
拜。